Hi, welcome, Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to set up TP-Link router, as well as port forwarding for your PlayStation 5. If you look at the box here, the model of this TP-Link is AC1750, and this is how it looks like. If you're interested on where to buy the router, I'll have the link in the description below. It will direct you to Amazon, and you can buy this router directly from the page. Now, if you look at the side of the router here, the very far right corner, the black cable, this is your power cable. You need to plug it into your outlet. Here is your power button to turn on and off of your router. Sometimes if the router doesn't work, you need to reboot it. You can just press the power button to release and press it back in to turn it back on. The white cable here is coming off from my internet service provider. So if you're paying monthly service for the internet, this is what we call the service uh, internet service provider that provides you the internet. Mine is the white cable. For you, it could be yellow, blue, or any other colors. Make sure you connect your internet service provider cable directly into the blue color port. This blue port here is the WAN port. So make sure you connect to the when w a n now the four ports on the orange side so they have this orange port here there are four of them and this is where you're going to connect your playstation 5 connect your laptop your desktop your printer any of your local devices at home you should connect to this orange port all right so this is how it looks like so for my case i have this blue blue cable here my blue cable is connected to the laptop. So I'll be using this laptop here to do the configuration and set it up and show it to you. Let me show it to you on the laptop screen. So here you can see my laptop screen. And the first thing I like to do is to open up the browser. So you can use Microsoft Edge, you can use Chrome or Firefox. On the very top, URL, I want you to type tp-link wifi.net. This is where the address we would like to go and do the setup process. Here, you will ask you to create an administrator password to manage your router. Go ahead and create a password for your router and click get started. Make sure you save the password, write it down somewhere so that you can remember and we need to log back in after you create. All right, so we're gonna log in. We need to go to the control center, the dashboard of your router. Here, you should select the time zone. For my case, I'll be selecting Hawaii. Click next. Connection type by default is dynamic IP. Almost 99% of the residential internet, your internet provider would give you a dynamic IP. Unless if you're in a commercial, in a business, sometimes you may come across using a static IP. The static IP is for somebody who runs a server, they need to be able to remote in or do certain stuff with a static IP, and that would be provided by your internet service provider. If you're not too sure what to select, 99% of you guys out there should fall under dynamic IP. So just leave it as dynamic IP for now and click next. You can exit this one out. Just close, close this, this little pop-up screen. Just click next, selecting dynamic IP. This page right here, it says do not clone MAC address. Agree to that. We are not cloning anything. Click next. Here is the wireless settings. Do we want the smart connect? Yes, we do want the smart connect. Make sure it's enabled. Here would be your network SSID, meaning that you can put in your Wi-Fi and this is your Wi-Fi password. So go ahead and take a moment, put in your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password. Make sure you write it down on a piece of paper so that you can remember. But for my case, I'm just gonna leave it as the default given by the router. I would just click next. Summary, re, make sure you have everything written down. Click save. And that should do it. 
it's going to take some time for the um, setup process. So let's just wait until 100%. And yeah, so let's just wait. If you want to fast forward on the YouTube, please go ahead and do so. But for me, I'm not going to pause the video. I'm just going to wait it out. Right. once it's completed we are all done so you just finish setting up your router you're all good to go you should have internet and you should be able to see on your iPhone or iPad to connect to this brand new white um, router here okay so move on to the next step for those of you who wants to do the port forwarding for your PlayStation 5 again I assume the router is already set up go ahead and open up any of your browser in the browser here you want to go back in tp-link wi-fi.net press enter you're going to log into the dashboard screen put in the router password the router password that you just created here i'm just going to briefly walk you through what you're going to see on the dashboard it says internet check we have internet coming in from your internet service provider to your router your router is shooting the Wi-Fi 2.4 and 5, giga, 5 gigahertz. And when you come down, we don't have the mesh devices. So we're not going to talk about the mesh devices. We're just going to talk about wired clients, meaning that the cable you plug it in um, the, at the orange port on your router. So here I have one because my laptop is connected to directly um, to the router. So you on the wireless client, you may see your iPad, iPhone, Android um, devices being connected here. So you need to check if your Xbox, is it a hardwired or is it wireless? Okay, so go ahead and take a picture now. Go grab your smartphone and go ahead and take a picture. We need to know it's either wired or wireless. The important thing is we need to find out the IP address here. If you're not too sure the name of your device, maybe it doesn't say PlayStation 5. It could be saying some other stuff here. So what you want to do is you want to match the MAC address. Go to your PlayStation 5, Settings, Network, and you should be able to see the MAC address. Go ahead and find and match the MAC address. Is either a wired or wireless okay now take a picture of it so for my case I'll be using 192.168.0.100 so this is my IP address um, assuming this is the PlayStation 5 all right that's enough of explanation so now to do the port forwarding click on advance scroll down on the left column here you see the net forwarding click on that scroll down you're going to see virtual servers i'm not sure why do they call themselves a virtual server i would say port forwarding but heck that's what it is so just click on virtual server click on the little plus 
here I need to go ahead and type in uh, you just give it a name right so we're gonna give it a name we're gonna say PS5 PlayStation 5 and the port that needs to be open is 1935 okay in the external port we we need to put in 1935 there's only one port that we need to put in is 1935 we are not doing the range for this port just one particular port here it says internal IP address what is your internal IP address so I told you remember take a picture of your Xbox what is the IP address was assigned to your Xbox make sure you type it in but for my case it's 192.168.0.100 for your case it could be dot something else right it could be dot one 108 105 102 I don't know okay so you have to decide what IP address that you saw on that client devices now internal port is what you want to repeat the same port that we want is the 1935 so so far recap we give it a name external port is 1935 internal port is the IP address of your PlayStation 5 internal port of the router is 1935 the protocol we're going to select all because we want the TCP and UDP to be all open click save done we have one port is open it's done so let's go ahead and add another one here the next one we're going to do is PS5 dash 3074 we are opening up a 3074 port again the IP address 102.168.0.100 internal port is 3074 and we want it to be all for UDP and TCP click save done we have opened up the 3074 port click add we're going to do a range port right so we're going to give it a name 35 uh th sorry 3478 range to 3480 so this is a range so we're going to have a range 3478 dash 3480 that is the range for that and again 102.168.0.100 3478-3480 huh it doesn't allow me to do blank what is me xx or blank uh hmm i think the tp link does not allow you to do the range for some reason it doesn't allow me to do the range so I apologize. We just have to add individual for 78, 79, and 80, right? So just follow my step. We're going to add individual. We're not going to do the range for some reason. TP-Link does not allow us to do the range. But for those of you who have time, please go ahead and write an email and complain to TP-Link why you guys do not allow me to do the range. All right, so 3479, that's what we need to do. PS5, 3479, give it an IP. Oh, sorry, shouldn't type that. I apologize, it's 3479. 3479, and click Save. And the last port is 3480. right and click save there you have it we just open up all the ports that is required for your playstation 5 these are all the ports here it's all listed and you're all good to go and you should be able to game a lot better and if you like the video please go ahead and give me a like i appreciate that and subscribe if you haven't 
And if you have any question, please comment below. I'll take the time to answer your question. And if you find this video is helpful, and I hope you learned something today. And until next time, please take care. Bye now.